Alright, so today we're talking about the Bleed Club Backpack. So in front of the bag we have a tripod holder, but you can stick just about anything in there as it grows quite large and all you have to do is tighten it and then hold it onto the outside of your backpack. Up next we have these two pockets, one that has this really cool Blade Club badge on it. Um, they're both identical and about the size of the wallet. So inside of the bag we have another pouch with a Blade Club logo on it, and it's about the perfect size for a cell phone or a portable battery. The skate holders actually have a slim pocket on them also, more on the skate holders later. So on the other side we have the infamous sriracha bottle holder, but quite frankly it's better suited for a water bottle. And on top of the bag we have one of the largest pockets located on the exterior. Located on the bottom of the bag, we have these two protective pads and one more slim pocket with this weird holder in it. Uh, I don't know what it's for, maybe you guys know. So now for the back of the bag. It's pretty standard. It has their handle for carrying it with one hand and the shoulder straps are pretty basic. Some decent padding on them and have an adjustable chest strap. Even though this bag didn't include a hip strap, it's very clear that it's intended to have one, as on the sides you can see there's some mounting points for them. One thing that it did include was this weird pouch that kind of looks like it's designed for a 90s flip phone. Um, I can't get my phone to fit in it. I don't know what it's for besides that, and I don't really ever use it to be honest. And the final thing we'll find on the back of this backpack is the laptop pocket. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It has this dedicated sleeve which is padded and it's very soft on the inside, and it's perfect for a 15 inch laptop. So now we're on to the two main large compartments, starting with the one in the bottom. We open it to find three pockets, two small ones, and one larger one about the size of the cell phone on the door itself. This bottom compartment is designed to hold all your cameras and recording gear. Now this special compartment which is padded and soft to protect all your equipment. So a cool thing about this compartment is that it can actually be removed from the bag. Whether you want to pack your cameras in advance and then store them in the bag or you need to take all your equipment out for whatever the reason. When in the bag it's secure with these two long velcro strips. So now we're on to the second largest compartment of this bag, which is the access to the top. Uh, as we can see inside, it has this slim pocket, which I think is designed for a passport. And if we take a look to the sides, we can see how the side walls are actually reinforced. And uh, there's this slim piece of plastic in there, which makes the bag rigid, and I imagine protects your cameras from the skates that are mounted to the side. So the bottom of this compartment can actually unzip, combining both compartments. And I think this is pretty cool because even if you were to pack your bag completely, this one large compartment has two access points, so you can still reach things that are all the way at the bottom and things that are at the top. So now we're finally on to the skate holders. I really do like these skate holders. When not in use, they're tucked away nicely with velcros and buttons. So mounting your skates onto this bag is pretty simple. They're held on with three buckles, 
which can be tightened down to secure your skates. So when it comes to larger skates, like these uh, next with 110 millimeters, the bag actually has a difficulty mounting them because the straps themselves are just barely long enough to make it and buckle. Overall, I really do love this bag. It's perfect for me, the videographer who also skates. And honestly, that's who it's designed for. It does both really well. But if you're not lugging around camera equipment, this bag might be on the large side and might not be for you. But if you are recording and skating, this bag is the perfect match. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you next episode.